Sports Center right now. I'm Anthony Collins. Last night, Celtics swingman Jalen Brown added to his highlight reel, throwing down a massive dunk on the NBA's unicorn. In case you missed it, check this out. It happened during the second quarter of the Celtics' 103-73 win over the Knicks when Brown blew past his defender and dunked over 7'3", Chris Stapps Porzingis. We were impressed. What about Brown? 1-10. On my scale, yeah. it's about a five. So. <laughs> it's on my scale. I mean, just because I, I've, I've had some in the past that have been pretty spectacular, but, you know, it, it was fun. I mean, we got the win, more importantly. If that's a five, what the heck is a ten? <laughs> that's going to do it for this Sports Center update. Now let's get it back to first take. The young truth right there, Jalen Brown. The Knicks only scored 28 points in the entire second half last night. Max, is Christoph Porzingis really the guy to lead your New York Knickerbockers? Absolutely, yes. Any team would, should be thrilled to have Kristaps Porzingis as your best player going forward. Look, he was often compared to Dirk Nowitzki because people are lazy and they see a European-born seven-footer who can shoot, so they make the comparison. And when they were both 20 years old, you know, Chris Stapps Porzingis at 20 was better than Nowitzki at 20. But that doesn't mean he's going to develop along the exact same trajectory and also wind up one of the greatest players who ever lived. And he could still be the right guy to lead the Knicks, even if, that's, even if he's not one of the greatest players who ever lived. It also doesn't mean that just because at 22, Nowitzki at that point was ahead of where Porzingis is now, you could argue, that Porzingis won't wind up the greater player. The problem with Porzingis right now, and this is on ESPN.com, by the way. It may still be on the front page. It was yesterday. Um, Porzingis is shooting too many long twos. The problem is he's seven foot three, so he always has his shot available to him. And if you have a defender on you and you constantly shoot long twos, you will be an inefficient scoring player. He's still an excellent defensive player, but his scoring needs to get more efficient. That will come with experience when he learns where he needs to be shooting from, etc. And that will come with playing time, which he's getting. Chris Stapp Porzingis, barring injury, of course, barring catastrophic injury, knock wood, Chris Stapps Porzingis will be just fine, and any Knicks fan should be thrilled, every Knicks fan should be thrilled that the Knicks have him. Well, it's not a matter of being thrilled whether or not you have Chris Stapps Porzingis. Clearly, he can play. He's 7'3 with skills. So, of course, you're going to be happy to have him. The real question is whether or not he should be your number one option. And as I told you at the time that they let go of Carmelo Anthony, I didn't think he was ready. He's missed about seven games this year. But more importantly than that, Max, because you're 7'3 and most of you are legs, what happens is guys get up under you. They push you off the block. They get physical with you because they know they can't match you in terms of size and, or, or specifically height. They know that, and as a result of that, they wear you down physically. So even though he has the skill set, you know, to worthy of being considered a young star in this league, it would have helped him immensely if he had somebody else that the pressure could be applied to to take it off of him from a physical perspective. I think when we talk in basketball on far too many occasions, we're thinking about skill and we're not thinking enough about durability. A guy like LeBron is 250, 260. He's a man amongst boys. A guy like Kevin Durant is 6'11", but with ball handling skills that makes him really a tall guard. Chris Stapp Porzingis is a forward. Chris Stapp Porzingis can play away from the basket in terms of his shot, but in terms of ball handling ability, particularly with his back to the basket, he's not that guy. And because he's young and the physicality doesn't work in his favor, it puts him in a position to get beat up, which is what I told you would happen, which is why games well, against the Warriors, he's sitting on the bench getting called out by Clyde Frazier and others because people are questioning his toughness because he's been exposed to the physicality of it because they're going to beat him up. They had to get rid of Carmelo Anthony because it was going to impede Chris Stapp's progress at a certain well, I know point. That. He needs to be the number one option. And as they develop the team around him, clearly the Knicks are nowhere near one. contention really for a championship or a conference finals appearance even. So as Porzingis gets a year or two under his belt as the number one option, he didn't have four years at UCLA like Lou Alcindor and then Kareem Abdul-Jabbar like, like Kareem had, right? So Kareem was a tall, lanky guy, seven foot two, but wiry, strong. 
and was able with skills to play as a big more successfully probably than anyone who ever lived, right? So it's not impossible. It can be done. Porzingis has excellent ball handling skills for a guy who's seven foot three. He can face the back basket. He can play with his back to the basket. He's an excellent defender. He always has a shot and he shoots it very well. He has to learn from like the spots where he should be shooting it. Stop shooting long twos. Yes, he has to get used to the to the pace and the length of the NBA season. And also, let's not forget, Stephen A., as much as we can make the argument that nowadays, away from the basket, hey, that should be easier on bigs. Look what the tragedy, really, that just happened to DeMarcus Cousins. Boogie having this great year, but nowadays, bigs have to run so much more mm -hmm. because the game is faster. It's more up and down. There are more possessions. The bigs are playing away from the basket. That's not always good for their health. You know, that's always also, in other ways, more taxing. It's not but always Chris good. Stapps is as good a candidate as anyone to excel. Ladies and gentlemen, Max Somatic. Kellerman won the argument because he didn't give me any time to respond. I Take know away, you're not Molly. arguing we ball that, control we right ball now. Control. Yeah, just I know you're I, not I, arguing I, I, ball control you guys, every day because you, you talk a lot and say absolutely nothing. Nothing you, you said made sense. Yeah, I know you're not talking about me. Gentlemen. You talk more than right. me and say Gentlemen. a lot less. Can we go to break, please? Thank please. you. Thank please. You. Nobody talks more Thank than you. Kindly. And nobody says less. Put a clock on All it. right. The Knicks are 10th in the East right now. Their record just <laughs> below 500. Still to come, we'll talk LeBron and see how you, the fan, would have reacted to this reported interest in the Warriors. One of a kind, one of a kind. Amy loves retweeting things online. 